Well, I bring you greetings from our churches in the Middle East, from our church of St. George's in Baghdad, from our community of refugee Christians in Jordan, and from Christ Church Jaffa Gate in Jerusalem. All Saints Day is a wonderful day when we remember the great people of our Lord who have gone before us. We remember those saints you will find pictured around this great cathedral. But we in Iraq remember our great saints, our great saints, our great spiritual heroes, are not just from the New Testament era forward. They start in the Hebrew Scriptures with Daniel and Ezekiel who are very much part of our life. And they go on to people we sometimes only talk of negatively like Doubting Thomas. Never has the word doubting been put in front of Thomas in Iraq. For when he left Israel, Palestine, Cana, the land of the Holy One, he came to our people in Mesopotamia, the land between the rivers. And it was there that Thomas, called Doubting Thomas, set up in the very place where the miserable evangelist came once by submarine, Jonah. Nineveh is, until now, the homeland of Christianity in Iraq. Nineveh was, until a year and a half ago, where all the Christians remained and were from. Can you believe it? When ISIS came, they scattered the Christians, they killed them, they destroyed their homes. But the people remain. I am their pastor. They're not Anglican, they're not Chaldean, they're not Syrian Orthodox. We used to be all these denominations until the terrorists came for us. And now all of them will say, we are Messihi, we are just Christian, we are followers of the Messiah. It doesn't matter what brand we are. We are one people. All Saints Day always honors major spiritual heroes. For us, the biggest day of any saint is from the Old Testament. For Jonah, is to us a saint. He is known as Mayunan. Jonah is revered. The only thing I must confess I find very difficult is the fast days of Jonah. You don't just fast for one day. You fast totally for three days. For three days he was in the belly of the whale and he fasted. So we have a serious, serious fast. No food, no water for three whole days. And yet the people gather round together knowing that this great day is a great day of God. But our great saints are not just of long time past. I want to tell you 
about three of the saints we will be honoring today. They are Mariam, Hannah, and Yosef. Isis came to these children and they said, if you don't follow our religion, if you don't follow our prophet, you are dead. And the children said to Isis, we love Yeshua. We love Jesus. We have always loved Jesus. He talks to us every day. And we talk to him every day. He is our friend. He is our master. He is our savior. We will never speak against him. And so what happened was the most terrible murder of all those children. But they knew they were friends of Jesus. They knew they were going to Jesus. They knew that nothing should change that story. I was in my room in my church in Baghdad and I admit I was crying and the children came to me, the children who were living in our compound. They call me daddy and they put their arms around me and they said, don't cry daddy because we saw them in our dreams last night and they were in heaven dancing with Jesus. On this All Saints Day, all those saints which have gone before us, your people, my people, our people, know that they are with Jesus. He has not left them. He has supported them. Today, I celebrate my little saints, my Hannah, my Mariam, my Yusuf. They are with Jesus celebrating. They are showing the true story of what it means to be a saint of Christ. Never forget that we are living in an age where there is a suffering church. Never forget that our people pray for you as you pray for them. I talked to them just yesterday and they said to me, we know we're having All Saints Day. We are going to pray for your people. I said, who are my people? You're my people. No, they said. They said, our people are the people who love Yeshua everywhere, who love Jesus. I never forget that I have a school in Iraq. And before I left, I took all the children across. And I said, this is the cross of Jesus. They said to me, one of the boys said, I want a cross for my daddy. I said, have this cross for your daddy. His daddy was dead. We took it and put it on the altar. I said to him, what shall I tell the people when we go to England and America? He said, will you tell them what we love them and thank them for supporting us? And he said, will you take this cross and will you give it to them? I will later give this cross to somebody. 
And may God's blessing and his presence be with you this day and forever. May All Saints Day not just be the day of the past, but the day of the present. Shemid Baba, Brona, Brucha, Kosha, Ha'alaha. Amen.